Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So we are doing a little upgrade on the plumbing. Uh, we're going from two inch to four inch, so that's why these guys are here. Uh, this gentleman here, this is his son. Uh, he's working this poor boy like a Hebrew slave, <laughs> trying to break every child labor law that's in the country. So the, the, he does all the work, and his father watches. His jo father's just getting under there, just get, getting ready to tell him what he has to do. <laughs> so what's your name, young man? Tell everybody on YouTube. Cameron Smith. Okay, Cameron. So there you go. So I, now, now you can say, you can tell your friends at school, go watch the channel, and you'll see me on YouTube. So, but anyway, so there we go. And I'm telling you what, guys, he just said his name. That's the most this boy has talked in the three days that I've seen him here and I've known him. <laughs> He don't say nothing unless he's got a mouth unless he's got a mouthful. He won't say a word. So, but all right. So I'll let those guys get at that. Uh, how is everybody doing today? Uh, it is Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day, which just became that just came into effect. So I hope you guys are having a good day. It is Thanksgiving up in Canada. So for all my Canadian viewers, uh, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your day up there enjoying the turkey and hopefully your lunatic government uh is letting you gather <laughs> uh you know there was there was that talk that you know I, so we had a thing here and they were saying well you know you might have to be doing a, a virtual thanksgiving uh yeah no that's not gonna work <laughs> so just insanity insanity the amount of control um that is being heaped on people unfortunately in canada is uh unfortunately dealing with that more so um and australia australia is even worse what i want people to really you know to think about and i really want you to think about this the amount of control that is being exerted on you and you are allowing it to happen so at what point is enough enough um you guys have seen the videos from australia where they're arresting people that are not complying with their new mandates and what their restrictions are and those type of things. Uh, I think that is absolutely counterproductive. It doesn't help uh, the situation at all. And uh, But it is what it is, unfortunately, and until enough people have had enough. But again, so what has happened in, uh, you know, Australia and what has happened in Canada? You know, they have gone around and they have disarmed everybody as much as they can. Uh, Canada's a little bit more difficult. I'm sure there's people that still have things put away. Uh, but I know that, like in Australia, they pretty much hamstrung the entire country over there, just like they did in the U.K. Uh, that's why they'll always have an issue with doing that here in the United States, because until they can disarm us, they can't control us. And so, you know, because people will fight back. That's the, that's the thing here. People will fight back. So, uh, you know... There is a lot of things to pay attention to. So I, I just went up to uh, to um, see Dennis, and he had some bones for the puppies. And so that's what they're going nuts on right now. Caesar, you don't have both of them, do you? Where's the other one? Pandora, where's yours? Where's, yeah, he does have both of them. Don't be selfish. Give her a bone. Give her a bone, Caesar. Poor Pandora. Pandora, go get a bone. Unbelievable that he would have grabbed both of them. Hella got hers. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, I uh, kind of a chill day here today. I ended up um, taking Heather to an arts festival, and so we went and did that. And uh, so I got I got to tell you that story, okay, real quick. So what you're talking about, a, a scam in a way that they got things set up, it, it, unbelievable. So we go to um, this town, and I won't say the name of the town, there was an arts festival. And so they have parking, you know, and it's like uh, you have to pay $10 for the parking, and then they bus you in to the festival, and if you're getting bussed into the festival, you have to wear a mask on the bus, and then, you know, when you, you're done with the festival, you wait in this long line to be getting picked up and stuff like that. So I didn't realize, you know, I saw that the parking and stuff like that. So I had stopped and I talked to one guy 
and he was talking, it was Festival Park, and there was a lot of different spots where you could do that. And so I talked to the guy, and I said, uh, I go, is the festival here? And he goes, no, it's down in town in the park. And, uh, but this is one of the parking areas. Um, he's, and I go, there's no parking up closer to the thing. He goes, no, they got all the streets shut off. Um, they're, you know, charging people $10 to park and then they're busing everybody in. And I'm like, oh man. He says, but you know what? If you go here, here, and here, there is a veterans club. And he said, uh, they may let you park um, there, you know, being a veteran. And I went, okay, because I didn't even, he didn't even ask me if I was a veteran. He figured I was. And I said, okay. And so we, uh, we went to that veterans club. And uh, so I pulled up in there. They had the, you know, the entrance blocked off. And I went around the truck and I, I pulled up in there. And the guys were out front. And I said, uh, I said, hey, is it okay? You know, I said, I'm a veteran. I said, is it okay if we park here? He says, absolutely, dude. Go ahead and park it. Go do your thing. And I'm like, all right, man, thank you. Never charge us anything. Very, very cool. So first of all, thank you to that guy that told us that. Because I told Heather, I said, I'm not I'm not doing a parking ride. I'm not wearing a mask on a bus. And I'm not getting bussed in. And I'm not paying 10 bucks to go to a festival. We literally walked. It was like four blocks from the festival. We walked down there. We walked through there. Uh, it was way, way overpriced. The food prices were ridiculous as well. So, you know, but it was just, you know, she wanted to go and check it out, get some ideas for art, you know, for making her jewelry and all those type of things. So that's what we did, and I told her we would do that. And, of course, we did take the bike because it's a beautiful day here in New York. And uh, I think as of after Thursday, it's going to really cool off. So um, that's what we did. But uh, it, was, it was fun. It was still fun. It was nice to spend time with my daughter and go and do that. But uh, so I want to shout out to the Veterans Club in that town uh, for letting us park there. It was very, very cool. And, uh, so it was, a fun, it was still a fun, fun day uh, as far as that part of it went. So um, didn't do much here today at all. Uh, <laughs> that happens. But, uh, you know, so then I got a message from Dennis, and he said they had bones for the dogs. So I went up and got that. And as you can see, um, I gotta go, I'm going to have to go in there and take one of those away from Caesar because Pandora is being left out. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to do that right now while we're talking. Um, you can see the chickens over here. Everything is very calm, and everybody is very chill. A uh, lot less commotion going on in the yard over there, so um, that's a good thing. So hold on a second here. What are you doing? Here, here girl. Go ahead, Pandora. There's yours. That's a girl. Good girl. Caesar, no! Don't you freaking take that from her. You got your bone. Here. You got your bone. Don't be a pig. Go ahead, baby girl. It's okay. You are okay. Yeah, you go eat that bone. Go get the bone. That's yours. Okay. Okay. All right. Go have it. No, Pandora, hell, hell, no. Caesar, get out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah, all of you. Come here, Pandora, get this one. Get this one, then. <laughs> They're worse than little children, I swear to God. You're being piggish. You're being piggish. Don't be a pig. Be a good boy. So... Anyway, so I guess that's it. They're going to, hopefully they're separated enough and everybody can enjoy their own bone now. I didn't realize that he grabbed two of them. That was not good. But we have a few nice days left and then the temperature is definitely going to really drop. And uh, so that's that time of year but man the leaves are just unbelievable how they have changed so nothing super exciting to report in this video guys um oh i'll take you out here and i'll show you uh bill brought over his bulldozer because tomorrow we're going to be busy so he brought over his bulldozer because we're going to clean this up and i am looking forward to it and uh, 
So that's why he still has the backhoe over here to scoop stuff up. He's going to bring his truck, and we will be doing that. So that's where we're at. But uh, So this will be much more cleaned up. So one of the reasons, if you think about it, okay, cleaning this up. Why, what is a good reason to clean this up? I don't know, people were asking about this, and I wanted to kind of show you. I'm going to walk out front here, and I'm going to kind of show you this. If this is all cleaned up, somebody couldn't hide behind here and open fire on the houses. It opens up a clean kill zone. So the protection for somebody trying to come at you, they have to come to an open area first. Um, that's one of the reasons as well. That, but it needed to be cleaned up anyway. But it's uh, it, it's going to make it look much much better. But it's always strategic as well. When you when you're doing something, you're doing it strategically. The raised beds. Uh, it's a great concealment area as well, where you can defend behind them. And they're stacked up so you know somebody could be sitting back behind uh, the last raised bed and you're not going to shoot through five beds <laughs> to get that person so that's part of it you know any as well and they're solid and they're full of dirt and everything else and there's a lot of concrete and those type of things so uh, there's uh, like I said everything serves a dual purpose you have to you know just like I said planning ahead but uh, and here's the thing, just so you know too, worst case scenario, all right, worst case scenario, what happens, and I'm just going to show you this here. This is a dead end dirt road. That's a dead end dirt road. So there's nobody's going to be driving in through that way to attack you or coming from that way to attack you. Those are both dead ends. The only way in and out is down here. Very simple to drop a couple of trees down the road. Nobody's driving in. That's simple. So when people say, well, you know, you're right by the road. This is a dead-end dirt road. Anybody that comes down this way lives down this way. You could be on the main road out here, and you're never seeing my place even in the middle of winter. You can't. You don't. You just don't see it. Okay, so just so people know, um, I'm not on a very highly traveled road. I'm on a dead-end dirt road, off of a side road, off of a side road. <laughs> so that's how it works. You got to go a ways before you get to a main road where there's a lot of traffic, and you're never going to see this back here unless you know it's back here. So, part of the reason why I picked this spot, it's very, very, like I said, it's very peaceful. It is uh, out of the way, and I like that. So, but anyway, guys, that's all I got for you right now. Nothing super exciting. Just, uh, you know, continuing to work on a few projects, getting some things updated, uh, getting ready for winter. And that's what we're working on. And uh, we're going to continue to do that. But it uh, ended up being an absolutely gorgeous day. Oh, look at that in the sky. Imagine I haven't seen those in a while. This is, this is what I find amazing, okay? So let me ask you let me ask this. Planes are flying over here all the time. You see planes all the time. Only occasionally do you see, and actually it's right there. It's going right now, okay? Now normally you'll see that plane at that height. No trail behind it, nothing behind it, and they tell you know people are going to say, oh well, that's just because of condensation and blah 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 blah. Condensation doesn't hang in the air like those things do. Uh, you know, I've seen some of the planes have the condensation behind them and it dissipates very very quickly. Those things like that does not. So you can do, make your own assumptions of whatever you think it is or don't think it is, but that's not normal. Never saw that way back in the day, folks. Never happened way back in the day. Okay, and we've had not had any of that in a while and planes again like I said they fly over here all the time So anyway guys, I'm jumping off here. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes Remember we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race as soon as we can figure that out We're gonna be in much much better shape also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love Tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's gonna happen in life uh, that's really important as well. Oh, real quick again before I go on, I will be doing my live stream for my members only, uh, Hardcore Preppers only live stream tonight at uh, 8 o'clock. 
So if you would like to become a hardcore member, go to my main page, hit the join button. There's three levels of membership. The hardcore preppers get a live stream once a week. So uh, definitely take advantage of that if you are interested. Uh, so, but last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.